first question will go to Sean Cunningham. Hey, what's up, Luke? How are you? Good, Sean. You? I'm good. I'm good. Just, um, I guess, you know, we talked about it the other day, just how rare practice time is for you guys. Um, what were you able to accomplish today and just how beneficial was it for your team? Well, it was great to have a practice day. Uh, you know, we, it was, it was, uh, a, a little, uh, on the sloppy side, but that, tends to be the case when you don't practice very much. Uh, so uh, we we competed, we got after it, we got into each other. Um, and, you know, it's 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 what we need. Uh, it's what we need to uh, continue to try to get better. Christo Saltis. Hello, coach. How are you? Good. Great. I would like to ask you, after the four, uh, what did you learn from the last four games of your team and what this team needs to be more consistent on both ends of the floor? Well, um, I, I, you know, I think defensively we have to continue to look to, to really put pressure into the ball. Uh, you know, it's, that's where it starts at. And, um, you know, if, you know, from there it's, it's been a, a struggle all season long to, um, you know, to, to, to get stops for us. And so we're really relying heavily on, on our on our offense. So then on nights like last game, we, we're not making shots and, you know, we shoot 20 something percent from three, uh, you know, it's it's it makes it uh, challenging for us. Now, I do think in the Minnesota game, we did do uh, for three quarters a much better job defensively of the things we've been talking about. Uh, which is, you know, where you had an 82-82 game because our shots weren't going in, but we were doing some good things defensively leading into that fourth quarter. Um, they got hot down the stretch. We didn't. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's uh, – on that end, it, it, you know, it, again, it's going to have to start with us getting into the ball and then, uh, you know, the same things we keep talking about, defensive rebounding, communication, uh, transition defense, all those things add up uh, to, to uh, equal a good defense. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been struggling with that. James Sam. Yeah, Luke, having two days off like this, is it kind of a reminder of just how strange and how difficult this season has been? Uh, absolutely, James. I mean, look, it's, it's tough. And, and look, I, I, there's, you know, our players are playing a ton of games, traveling like crazy. Every team is. I think that's why you see right now uh, really a lot of sloppiness across the league, except for the, the the elite elite teams that have multiple you know stars on their team or multiple veterans. Uh, it's just it's it's challenging when this type of two days with a practice uh, feels like something we haven't done all year. You know it. it, it, it it's definitely a reminder that we're in the middle uh, of a very strange season. Um, which, look, I'm I'm thrilled that we're doing it, uh, but it, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, it, it's definitely like no other year. Next, we'll go to Jason Jones. Hey, Luke. Jason, yeah. you talk about putting pressure on the ball. You know, getting into the ball more. How difficult of a balance is that when you've already had problems containing the ball when you're not doing that, then asking guys maybe to get more aggressive and put themselves in a situation where they might be in trouble? Yeah, well, look, it's, you know, it, it's where we need to improve at, Jason. So, yeah, it, it, you, you're absolutely right. But for where we're trying to go, like, this has to happen. Um, so, we you know, we might get beat more. Uh you know, we, it might be more help rotations, uh, which in today's NBA is very dangerous. But uh, for us to, to continue to take steps in the right direction, like we have to be more solid, uh, you know, and, and that's one of the areas that uh, has to improve for us. So, uh, like I said, the best way of learning is to go through the experience. You take lumps um, and, and come together and grow from it. Uh, or, or splinter. Now we have a group that, you know, unfortunately it's been a very up and down season, but they, they do a really nice job of coming together um, and, and then it, it, making that more part of just how we play the game of basketball. And, you know, for me, a big part of that is you do it every single day, um, you know, whether it's games or practices. Uh, and, you know, right now that's, it's been a little uh, more challenging, but it's still something we have to keep working on. Jason Anderson. Hi, Luke. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Jason. Good. Uh, your uh, your name's already coming up as a, someone that, that might be coveted at Arizona uh, with that job uh, opening up. 
Um, can you tell us anything about whether you've you've been contacted or would have any interest? No, uh, no interest. I, I love Arizona. Uh, I think Sean Miller did an uh, amazing job there in his time. But, um, you know, I'm, I, I have a, a job. I have a job that I love. I got a group I love working with. So I'm very committed to, to uh, you know, being here in Sacramento and, and keeping this, uh, you know, keeping this going uh, in the direction that, that we, we want it to go and, and getting this team back into, in, into the playoffs. Tony Harvey. Yeah, okay. Well, since the Illinois job is not available, Luke, you can take that one if you want, if it ever comes available, but that's the subject. <laughs> anyway, um, you did mention uh, about sloppiness. It, crazy, crazy schedule. Uh, I, you know, I, I guess these players don't mind being in that position. Does that, you know, traveling right now, you know, playing games every other day take a, a physical toll at some point on these players and I know you know you played as a player but you know this is this is a real tight season it's only 72 games and maybe you know a lot of that factors into what's happening with the Kings right now but does that that traveling this type of travel you know jet lagging whatever you want to call it play a lot into what's happening right now with this team yeah I, I think that um, for sure that this uh, physically and mentally, it, it's draining. It, it is. Um, and it's not just ha what's happening to the Kings. It's, it's really, it's happening across the league. Like I said, in my opinion, except for the, you know, the, um, the Nets, the, you know, the Bucks, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Lakers before they had their own injuries, like the elites of the elite are, are really, you know, are, are able to, uh, they're doing a nice job of, of staying uh, consistent throughout, but you look at most every other team in the league, and there's a lot of ups and uh, up and down play happening. There's a ton of blowouts, and be, and to me, it's because everyone is physically and mentally drained. But we all are; every team is. So it's not one excuse, you know, for for us that does is you know not another team. It's just it, this season has a lot more challenges in it than um, uh, than any other season that I've been a part of. Next, we'll go back to Sean Cunningham. Yeah, Luke, I guess kind of a two-part question here. Um, the first part of it being these new players that came in, uh, the three that are in the rotation right now, do you almost have a big enough sample size to know what you can rely on from them night in, night out at this point? Well, yeah, it's it's – it's nice to, you know, have the little bit of time we've had together and actually let them get into a practice today with the group. Um, but I, I do feel like they're getting uh, to a comfort with what we're trying to do, our terminology, um, you know, their strengths um, and, and what we need them to bring to the team. Like we're, we're slowly starting to kind of to, you know, get get aligned with all of that. So. Uh, I, 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 like I said, when we, you know, we got these guys, I, I think they're really, um, really nice additions for us. And, uh, you know, with time, it'll continue to, to make our, our group better. And then just the second part, when you have a, you know, guy like Damon Jones, you're going to have an attend day. Do you anticipate being able to utilize him? Obviously, Chemezi's kind of played well with that group and you bringing in uh, Hassan back. Uh, do, do you anticipate some moments out there for him? Well, yeah, we, we, you know, we'd like to um, see what he can do. It was great that uh, we had him in here before the practice today. Um, but yeah, we, we would like to get a, a look at him and uh, you know, I, I still, you know, I talked to Chris, Chris had a great practice today. I'd like to get him out there. We haven't had a chance to really see him yet. Um, but uh, you know, it's like, there's, there's um, right now, there's a lot of people at that position. So uh, we'll like to see it, but we're not going to, uh, you know, unless the situation fits or feels right, that we're not going to, you know, make any crazy uh, adjustments with uh, the rotation as far as those guys playing and taking out, you know, Rashawn or Hassan. And if Hassan was out, then Mezzi would probably get first look still. All right. Last question for coach. We'll go to Jason Jones. Yeah, Luke, um, in some of these losses where you guys are on extended losing, guys will say they've looked at the opponent's record, maybe in their minds played down to the competition. Do you feel like after this, this, this streak here, maybe they've gotten to a point where that won't be an issue or you hope it won't be an issue coming up tomorrow? 
Yeah, well, it shouldn't be an issue. I don't. I, I don't know what we, uh, as a group, have accomplished to think that um, you know we're we're just going to come out and beat anyone. Uh, there's a certain level of play that has to happen to win in this league, and uh, we certainly um, need to pay the proper respect to everyone we play uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. And, and like, there's not. There's not. Uh, you know, like I said before, this is the 400 and best something players in the world. So if you don't, if, if we don't, you know, some teams can afford to, you know, turn it on in the fourth. If we don't come out and play our best game, then, you know, we're, you know, we're, who knows how it plays out. We, we have to play with the proper respect of the game uh, to give ourselves a chance to win.